Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Riders Hobby Shops, where the fun begins. Stop in to one of Riders two convenient Michigan locations, where you'll find a full range of the latest hobby products, supplies, parts, tools, and paint. This review covers the Mac Fire Pumper. It's a 132nd scale kit from Ravel, number 1945. It's a skill level number one, snap tight, easy builder model for the beginner. Now, the CF600 Mac Pumper is a familiar fire truck and it was widely used all over the United States. Now, this kit comes from a re release of the re, uh, reboxing for the Backdraft movie kit. There's about 60 parts molded in red, clear, and chrome, and it includes plastic tires and axles. The body's pretty solid with the interior attached and the cab is pretty solid well. It's got all the bells and whistles you'd expect on a fire truck. It's a beginner's kit and it includes colorful peel and stick graphics. It does not have water slide decals. It's considered a curbside kit, there's no engine. And it makes a great introduction to model building for the novice builder. On the other hand, if you add a little extra detailing, it can make, make for a really nice shelf display. Now overall, when you're done, it's about 10 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 3 inches high. The parts are pretty crisp and clear, uh, but it's been re-released quite a few times, so they've kept the molds up in good shape. Now remember to use the safety and use guidelines when you use or see any of the products in the review. Now the first thing we're going to do is, of course, uh, we're going to clean any flash, minor flash and pin marks, etc. Uh, that need to be cleared off. And then we're going to give uh, these parts a, uh, a light spray of light gray primer. Here are the stickers for the kit. And they are appropriate fire department scores here. But um, they're just right for the youngster uh, and his first model uh, of a fire truck. So uh, just to keep that in mind. All of the features of the chassis are molded in. The first thing I did was give it a light spray of acrylic flat black paint. Next, I painted the lower portion of the cab red. Uh, it's just your standard fire engine red. Likewise, I painted the body of the truck the same color. And you'll also notice some sections here are also not painted. And they're going to be painted black later or other colors and so as not to remove uh, some of the detail with thick paint. You don't need to paint those, just the areas that will be red, like the back panel here, which is also painted red as well. And what you see, of course, here is uh, I'm painting, I'm doing some detail painting and some detailing for the kit, but it's not necessary if you're having a child put it together. It's molded in colors, uh, so you can put it together just out of the box. But here I uh, remove the script from the chassis and we'll um, add some detailing as we go along. You can leave the chassis just flat black or as you see here some of that detailing uh, the muffler gets painted uh, aluminum and black and and you let the uh, paint dry and then you snap the muffler into place on the bottom of the chassis. I painted the uh, rear leaf springs a, uh, a medium gloss uh, what they call a semi-gloss black. Next, I snapped the axles into place, one on each side there, um, just uh, behind uh, the tailpipe. The uh, wheels are easily snapped into the tires, so go ahead and assemble those by snapping a uh, uh, wheel into part number one. And repeat this for the other tire. Here are the uh, mounted wheels and tires. The, um, of course, the wheels look very much like uh, fire truck wheels. Now the uh, rear end assembly gets painted uh, semi-gloss black. And then you're going to slide the other tires marked number two. And uh, How this works is uh, on the, the part numbers themselves, number 31 goes to the inside of the axles and 25s go to the outside because uh, you need to get the right ones in the right place on this dually setup. And once that's done, you can take the rear end assembly and just snap it into place on the chassis. Next, I taped off the bottom half of the chassis and sprayed the top half with a, a gloss black color. You don't want to wait too long to remove the tape. Uh, the longer you leave it, the more it will adhere to the paint. So once it's uh, good uh, and tacky at least, you can still handle the lower part that was painted earlier and pull the tape off to expose the upper half. 
As you see here, uh, the turn signals on the grill, um, you can see it best on the left side there. We're painted uh, turn signal amber, as well as the running lights uh, got the same treatment. After the running lights have dried, you can snap them onto the top of the cab there, as well as the uh, entire grill assembly into the front of the cab. You can detail the interior parts. Uh, you see the seats here were painted uh, flat black, and, and the diamond plate was painted with a uh, buffing aluminum. Now we can detail some of the accessories. Uh, the fire axe handle was painted brown. Uh, of course, the uh, axe itself head was painted red and aluminum. And the back of the, uh, the cab's panel there was painted red, and the window seal around it painted black. Those parts get placed, and I did use a little drop of glue uh, on the axe and the steering wheel to hold them in place uh, just to make sure that they didn't um, come out. And of course, uh, they go into the uh, interior and on the body there as you see them. You see here the, um, the chrome gauges on the right and the cover for the hoses on, on top or on the left. Now, remember, uh, if you're going to glue or use some glue to you know make sure that pieces stay in position. You have to scrape the chrome off, but these will generally just snap into place. I'll use the uh, color callouts uh, from the instructions, and some of the gauges are painted black, and uh, some of them uh, chrome cover pieces, you know, and gauges are painted white, so just follow the instructions there for a nice look. Next, paint the chrome caps onto the ends of the fire hoses, and I did paint the uh, straps there aluminum, as you can see. Then snap the hoses to the side of the fire truck body. And now we're going to work with the um, the hose ends, the the outlet ends that go on the fire truck body, and they look similar to the uh, hose caps, but um, you see here in the white circle, and they go into a hole on the side there. And I painted the faucet caps white. Uh, you see the yellow arrows there. And then you can paint the chains and the remaining caps silver color. The ladders get painted aluminum color. And then the, uh, the gaff is painted black uh, on the handle and aluminum for the pike there. And then snap the pick into place first in the bottom holes. And then snap the ladder pieces together. And make sure the ladders with the ends are to the back side. And the ladder uh, that is flat comes in the front. Now snap the ladder into place. Uh, to the side of the body where the holes are. And I did add a little glue to the uh, gaff pick there so that it would stay in place. Now we'll work on the uh, light bar and the grab handles. And um, the, the, the handles and the light bar go on the back of the truck body. And you should remove the tabs on each side of the handlebars. You see the red uh, uh, there and the arrows and circles. Those those come off, those tabs, okay? And then I painted the two globes on the light bar uh, with some transparent red. Now, when you go to install these, uh, snap the light bar in first and then both of the handles. And then snap the top of the handle into the light bar and the bottom of the handle onto the body. Now you see here both the uh, light globe and the windows, and it's time to snap the windows into place on the inside the cab there, and then the globe gets uh, put on top of the cab. And now with the basic construction done, uh, it's time to gather up all little accessory pieces you see here, and add those one by one uh, to the cab and to the body, wherever they are um, uh, placed, and uh, they snap into position. Also note that uh, you'll need to choose uh, either the water cannon or the floodlight bank as an option for uh, finishing up your construction. And as you can see, this single purpose kit uses all the parts and most of the stickers um, that are on the uh, sticker sheet. Uh, you don't have to use them all, but uh, they really make the model look more uh, like a real fire truck. Well, there you have it. Your model is done. And as we mentioned, it's just a snap together kit and you can build it straight out of the box. But with a little detailing, it really looks nice on your shelf. Now, you can put it together with a youngster and just uh, have a lot of fun with that. And, but it lends itself to plenty of detail work, even though it's just a snap kit. It can still be made into a detailed piece to admire. Overall, it's a great kit for the beginner right out of the box again. But um, a lot of painting for a beginner 
So uh, if you want to use this for the basis for a more detailed kit, that's fine. Otherwise, enjoy your Snap Together Easy Builder. Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we bring you the best premium scale model kit reviews on the planet. And if you don't want to miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon in the lower right of any of our reviews. Or you can find us on Facebook or our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.